let's try another build because I have the time and I want to record more of this game and doing a 15 minute run of uh, like a draconian death knight isn't going to be that in interesting so let's do a ghoul this time and uh, ghouls are interesting because they can eat rotting flesh and they do want to eat rotting flesh because every time you eat rotting flesh you get a buff let's do one of my favorite things as a ghoul is to pick the necromancer because that way you are basically a ghoul that summons zombies and whatnot. These are probably going to be. Uh, let's do let's do necromancer because I like I like being a necromancer. Necromancer is just it's just awesome. So we start with this time we are going to use spells and we are going to use spells a lot. So that means we are going to be mostly focusing on using our pain spell. We can also uh, do some melee combat, but uh, we are not that good at doing melee combat. Also, butchering corpses is going to be a bit more uh, in, uh, interesting, because now we are going to get buffs every time we eat rotting flesh. So we are, we don't want to eat our flesh unless it's absolutely necessary. But there's also one bad thing about playing as a ghoul. If you don't eat rotting flesh, or I think if you don't eat often enough, your flesh starts to rot off and then you lose your like health and stuff. And I wait, what am I doing? I'm still playing as I'm still playing like a death knight, but I shouldn't what I should be doing is I should use my pain spell a lot more. So let's chop that down and wait until I have my health back. Okay, so we have rotting flesh. Flesh, so let's... Yeah. It's going to restore all of our health and if we have... I believe if we have full health, then we are going to get even more health. So let's do that. I'm just casting this stuff like that and we are out of mana but this is just a goblin yeah uh, actually it's it's hurting it's hurting bad mm, I'm going to eat that that way I get more health back and let's start casting our stuff excellent let's try actually before we try anything because that might be a scroll of teleportation and we might teleport straight into something so let's uh, okay so it's definitely not a scroll of teleportation let's see what this is okay so it's I guess this might be an enchant weapon uh, let's see what this does okay so that was a scroll of identify and this is a potion of blood so it's basically it's food I think it said, it said it's nutrition for uh, for those that can eat flesh so I imagine it's probably going to be just food um, I should probably switch my skills a bit okay we're level 2 now okay um, unarmed combat should I do that I'm going to disable stealth for a bit, and I'm instead I'm going to uh, necromancy is my main, but I sort of need that. Mm. I guess I, uh, but I don't want to do that. Uh, let's let's actually boost unarmed combat and necromancy. I'm not sure if this is a good tactic. I'm not really all that sure when I uh, manage my skills. I'm not that good at managing skills. I'm, <clears throat> I'm I'm actually fairly new. Okay, so my flesh is starting to rot away. So that means I'm going to lose some of my buffs. Uh, but with okay, so this is an interesting looking looking area. But with a ghoul, you can very quickly create a huge amount of health. Okay, we killed that. 
Maybe we should, like, pick a weapon. Uh, we do have claws, which... Uh, they, they increase our unarmed damage. So a drive fountain, and this is a shattered altar of Ashenzare. I'm not sure what Ashenzare does. We could pray for it. Mm. God is all-knowing, all-seeing, devoted worshippers are allowed to grasp shreds of his knowledge and foresight, but we warn to... To us, Ashenzari, power and blessing and curse are all the same thing. Uh, it's it looks like an evil god. Well, let's do that. Uh, yes. Okay, so we are now following Ashenzari. I'm not sure if that's a good decision. Most of the time, I don't. Because, yeah, I'm a, I'm a newbie. I'm still a newbie. I have never gotten too far and I don't know all the tricks of this game, so don't expect me to make good decisions. Like, fighting this group of uh, jackals might not be a good idea. Uh, okay, this is probably a bad idea. Yeah, and we are both missing, so... Using a spell there is not... I, I, if I can hit it... But I'm missing. Yeah, I, when I can finally hit it, I do plenty of damage. So I want to alternate between using my... Uh, blah, 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 blah. What, I, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to alternate between using... My melee attacks and my spells, because I want my spells to last as long as possible. Also, we have this book of necromancy, so I wonder... Yeah, I can animate skeletons, but I can't animate anything else. Well, I can animate the death once I... the dead, not the death. Uh, once I reach level 4, so not yet. Let's Let's memorize this spell so we can use it. So now if we find any... Well, technically I can eat all of that stuff. It doesn't really matter. Now does it? Let's butcher all of them. And we also got a couple of skeletons from this, so we can... And we will... Animate them. Now we have to... Actually, we should also wait for a bit just to regain our mana. So let's see what our... Uh, jackal skeletons can do. Oh, that's good. Oh, I'm going to butcher you as well. Uh, so we are doing relatively well. We are still on the le uh, first level of the dungeon. Okay, my flesh is starting to rot away, so I'm hoping that one of these pieces of flesh soon turns into rotting flesh, so that I can properly eat it. And these guys... Okay, so that... Seems like a cursed dagger. Don't want to touch, touch that at all. I don't want any cursed stuff. Uh, cursed stuff is usually... It sounds a bit worse than it actually is. So that's a cobalt corpse. So I can eat that. Doesn't really matter. And I can also animate this skeleton. So now my skeleton army grows stronger. Um, but yeah, cursed stuff is not actually that bad. It's... It's just that you can't actually... You can't unequip it. If you equip cursed stuff, you're just going to have to hold on to it until you get a remove curse... Uh, remove curse... Uh, either... either I think there there's probably a spell for it, but uh, usually you just read a scroll. My army is doing well. So let's butcher this. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yep, finally. And let's animate. Okay, so we... we. Uh, that was not a success, so... Because we failed a spell, we are slightly contaminated with um, residual magic. As far as I know, that can cause mutations if you... Uh, if your contamination is too big and too strong. But at the moment, I don't really have to care about that. And I can eat this. 
So I'm going I'm going to get a bunch of my health back. Also we need this scroll, whatever it does. Watri Tsetsva or something. Yeah this what whatever this stuff says it doesn't matter. It's just some randomly generated bunch of nonsense. That bat is just annoying. Bats are especially annoying because they can fly so fast and they are very hard to hit. I'm just going to use a pain. Ha! Huh. Take that! And we leveled up, so now we can select if we want to increase our strength, intelligence or dexterity. Dexterity is good for dodging, strength is good for armor and intelligence is good for like, I believe, magic and also leveling up stuff. So I'm going to pick up intelligence. And we have a lot of rotting flesh. So we are we're becoming quite strong here. And I can actually I'm still using unarmed, yes, I am. And my unarmed our unarmed combat is getting better without uh, sacrificing too much of Actually, what is my Yeah, Arshenzari is not pleased. Though he's not he's sort of he doesn't care. Uh I think yep, my my bat just died. I need to find more minions eventually. Ah, oh, money. And there is our next minion if I just can up oh, nope nobody. No skeleton. And we are done with this level, basically. We can't find anything else uh, unless we wait and kill stuff. We could do that, but seriously, who wants to just wait around? Uh, what does this do? So that's a teleportation, so let's just wait a bit and get that over with. And let's get back to a staircase. I could technically go through here. But I don't want to do that, I want to find a staircase. So you have two methods of going down and those are either escape hatches or you use a floor. Uh, a, a floor? I mean a staircase. A staircase is generally a bit better because that way you also have a way of going up. Escape hatches only go down or I think up, but you can't uh, go back through them. This is annoying. So worms are usually quite dangerous. So I am a bit worried. Uh, I can eat that so that way I gain a bit more health. Excellent. So let's chop this up. We didn't get any skeleton out of that, but it doesn't matter. At least not too much. Let's kill that bat. Good. So our unarmed combat is actually doing quite well. And because we are a ghoul, I don't really... I think I have like... Yeah, I have poison resistance, gold resistance and stuff like that. So I, I have a bunch of resistance stuff. So if I see an adder... The worst thing that an adder can really do is they can poison you. And if they do that, then you might be in trouble if you are not poison resistant. But I am, so I don't have to worry about that. Let's eat that. I need some minions. I sort of need a skeleton. And that did a bunch of damage. I'm not happy with this, so let's cast spells. Great. Okay, I need to wait. Yeah, my flesh is starting to rot away because I am not eating. I need to eat. Okay, so we have something rotten. So that's good. But I do need some minions. Or I need to read more stuff. But I can't. I only have lethal infusion and I don't have any weapons. So that, that's kind of pointless. And I'm not going to pick that, uh, that uh, ring mail up. Because that's going to decrease my magic abilities, so not worth for me. Uh, no skeleton either. 
Oh, an uncur uncursed wizard hat. That might be something that I might actually use. Because it's uncursed and it's probably going to increase my ability to cast spells. 